What's going on fellow monkeys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another super interesting and groundbreaking episode. As you can see, I'm just warming up in the background to prepare myself for the assessment of the strength of my half crimp grip. And I gotta tell you right away that I'm not gonna go into much detail regarding the structure of the workout because the protocol was exactly the same as in the three fingers open grip assessment which was of course done deliberately to um, get some nice comparability. However, I'm going to go into a detail overkill regarding the results of these assessments because it was interesting to see how certain numbers change when my three fingers open grip is compared to my half crimp. And it was even more interesting to put this in uh, relation to max strength and power endurance. I mean, this is not going to be a new revelation in sports physiology here, I have to disappoint you. But the findings were interesting enough to share it with you guys, so let's see. So to give you a little bit of an intro to what the hell I'm actually talking about here before I go full nerd mode, in the climbing community we often have this discussion about how max strength influences endurance, particularly when we talk about finger strength and pump resistance in the forearms. Common arguments are for example that well if you have more max strength then you do not have to take uh, certain holds full force compared to the climber with less max strength who has to go full effort to take the same holds and therefore gets pumped quicker. Makes sense right? However applying this kind of thinking pure bowlers should be actually the best root climbers as well since they usually have very good finger max strength. But this is never the case, in fact pure root climbers usually perform better on roots than pure bowlers although the bowlers have more finger strength apart maybe from like I don't know an 8c boulder compared to a 6a root climber or something then the 8c boulder might be also better at roots than the root climber. But anyway you get what I'm saying. So there's gotta be another element of performance which works in favor of the root climbers and that's of course endurance, power endurance or strength endurance just as well as aerobic endurance which we need for shaking out and stuff. It's incredible, the half crimp is so much stronger than my three fingers open grip, almost 10 kilograms stronger I think on average, it's really incredible and you gotta work on the three fingers open grip. All right, so. Now I'll make one standard repeater set without any bonus weight to uh, equalize the hands back again. And then we're gonna smash in this backpack to um, increase my total weight up to 82 kilograms. So let's see if I can uh, even manage one set of repeaters with that stuff. It's gonna be interesting. Let's check the weight. Oh man, that's heavy as shit. Without even planning it, I underwent a little experiment with these assessment sessions and the results provide a bit of an insight into how these different performance components relate to each other. From the perspective of a climber who is mostly a root climber but does also some bouldering especially for training purposes. So yeah, enough sissy talk I would say, let's get into it. Holy shit, I'm pumped. Alright guys, I just finished the 6th set of my repeaters, um, but I couldn't finish it completely, so that's my last one and therefore the uh, assessment is over. And I've got some pretty interesting results actually, which I would like to discuss in a minute or two. Um, just let me write down this set. Alright, so now that the sun stopped ruining the lighting completely, here are the results of this assessment. Here we've got the max hangs and down here we've got the repeater sets. And the interesting part starts when we compare this actually to the three fingers open grip. My best max hang result of this um, half crimp assessment was 57.5 kilograms on my right hand. And when we compare this to the three fingers open grip, we've got 48.5 kilograms on my right hand, so I'm 9 kilograms stronger on the half crimp than on the three fingers open grip. That's the first interesting finding. So obviously I should um, kind of train the three fingers open grip more to, to balance these things out. But anyway, 
really interesting it gets when we when we look at the repeater sets. Now, when you remember, I tried to make repeater sets with 70 kilograms on the three fingers open grip, but I couldn't do a single one. Which is why I reduced the repeater bonus weight so that in total I weighed only 67.5 kilograms. And with 67.5 kilograms, I was already able to do four complete clean repeater sets. Now, when we take a look at the, at the half crimp now, here I used 82.1 kilograms, so that's almost 15 kilograms more than in the three fingers open grip, and I could complete five, even five clean repeater sets. And I did everything the same, okay? The session design is just exactly the same as in the three fingers open grip, and that's of course done on purple so that the comparability is given. So now that is really interesting because this tells you um, if you can make a difference of 9 kilograms in your max power, this has an even bigger impact on your power endurance resistance, so to say. So you would, um, you would assume that, okay, you got 9 kilograms more of max power, then you probably also can make 9 kilograms more, you can hold 9 kilograms more in terms of repeaters, you know, and can uh, make the same number of sets. But no, in fact, it's, it's almost 15 kilograms more and one set more. Because as you remember, in the half grip I did, I did complete five sets. In the three fingers open grip, I could only complete four sets. So here you can see that max power has a dramatic influence on your power endurance and probably therefore also on your endurance. So athletes who are very trained to their limit when it comes to power endurance would not probably profit more from max power training if they want to get their power endurance to an even higher level than by, com by continuing to, to just train power endurance. Okay? And I think that this is the, the point where bouldering and max, max power training comes into play when it comes to pushing your root grade actually. Okay? Because max power has such, such a dramatic um, influence on your power endurance and endurance because you you know the, the power endurance capacity does not change whether you use this or that grip you know but your max power changes when you use the half crimp instead of the three fingers open grip in my case mm, not so fast my friend I have to retune into this video because I just realized that I did a rather significant thinking mistake when conducting this experiment did you notice it as well well, comparability of three fingers open grip with half crimp is legal because we did the exact same approach in, in both sessions, the exact same session protocol, identical resting times, identical exercises and stuff like that. So we can of course compare the results of these two. However, there arises a problem when we start to compare the max strength with the repeater's performance and the reason for that is that of course the max strength was done on one hand on a one-handed hang whereas the repeater's performance was conducted on a both handed hangs on a two handed hangs so saying that nine kilograms more max power gives you 15 kilograms more repeater's power so to say is not correct because well the one hand tanks can you cannot compare with the both hand tanks right so there are two possibilities now how we can solve this problem we can conduct a one-handed repeaters and measure this performance and compare it to the one-handed max hangs however that would be rather unpractical because i would need something like a pulley system or stuff like that to conduct these one-handed repeaters because i'm not strong enough to hang uh, one-handed with bonus weight and make a repeat to set with that so therefore you have to subtract the kilos that you need to take away and put this into perspective to the max performance of that certain grip the other possibility however is to conduct dead hangs meaning both handed max power hangs and compare these these results to the both handed uh, repeater performance so this is this is rather impractical as well because i would need something like 40 or 50 kilograms of bonus weight to conduct to get to my limit when it comes to um, dead hangs on this edge at least which i used as a training edge so what we can do instead is we can add up the best performances of both single-handed hangs in like the best left performance the best right performance and create a theoretical dead hang performance out of this 
and compare this with the both-handed repeater performance. So <laughs> let me just um, quickly tell you what I came up with here on my beautiful calculation sheet. Um, I just added up the best performance of the right hand and the left hand of the three fingers open grip, which was 48.5 kilograms plus 44.7 kilograms, resulting in 93.2 kilograms. And I did the same thing for the half cramp. Best right was 57.5 kilograms and best left was 52.4 kilograms, adding up to a whopping 109.9, so almost 110 kilograms. And these are now theoretical dead hang values. So in theory, I should be able to hang this on a dead hang in a dead hang fashion. You know, 93.2 kilograms with the three fingers open grip and 109.9 kilograms in the half cramp. And if we subtract these from each other, we come to a whopping difference of 16.7 kilograms and not the previously assumed 9 kilograms, okay? So in fact, we are comparing a dead hang difference now for, for, of 16.9, 16.7 uh, kilograms to a repeated difference of 14.6 kilograms. Because as you guys remember, I did the repeaters with 82.1 kilograms in the half crimp and 67.5 kilograms in the uh, three fingers open grip. And I did even one set more on the 82.1 kilograms in the half cramp. So we could have added even more weight probably there, let's say up to 84 kilograms, and then got only four sets done, which was compared to the three fingers open grip where I did only four sets. So in fact, we have here pretty much the same outcome, right? Because 16.7 kilograms is pretty much the same as 14.6 kilograms plus one more set. So we could draw the conclusion here after this experiment that both performance factors, max power, max strength and power endurance, the thing we can get through repeaters, um, behave in, are connected in kind of a linear relation. If you're getting 10 kilograms more on your dead hang, then you can expect to get 10 kilograms more on your repeater's performance. And this is in fact what this um, experiment is telling you. I think that's it for this video. I hope you liked the little excursion into experimental design and whatnot. Uh, anyway, I don't want this video to get along, which, is pro which it probably already is. See you guys in the next one. Bye.